All right, so uh, this is a, a video on the p edit logarithm. Just as basic pro properties. Um, so, uh, so this stuff can be found in, in say, um, uh, the book by uh, Koblitz or Robert. Um, so, um, all right. So let's just start with the definition. So definition uh, as a series. So so we define. We'll, we I guess we first consider uh, log as as a power series, right? Log of x. So this is going to be defined to be equal to minus the sum from n is equal to one up to infinity of one minus x to the n uh, divided by n. So you just take the formal power series and we view it with q coefficients. Okay. Uh, so and then we we can also consider the the exponential, right? Uh, this is a p-adic exponential. It's the the usual exponential. N is equal to one up to infinity. Uh, x to the n over n factorial, and so this is again another power series like like with q coefficients. Okay, um, so these are uh, uh, so so as as formal power series. Okay, and now we're going to uh, uh, consider them uh, the the properties of of convergence. So. <clears throat> So just as with, um, uh, just as with usual um, uh, power series with real coefficients, with uh, so let's say with with p-adic coefficients and the p-adic completion, right? Uh, so we have uh, the the usual convergence test. So if for f of x, uh, sum from n is equal to zero up to infinity, and x to the n. And say this is in like CP, so CP is the the completion of the algebraic closure of um, of uh, the the p-adics. Um, uh, the radius of convergence, right? Is uh, the following. So, is uh, lim inf as n goes to infinity of a n minus one over n. Okay, and so this is the p-adic uh, p-adic norm here. All right. Okay. So um, using this, then we can actually get to compute the the radiuses of convergence for um, uh, for each of these things, or or a radius of convergence for um, these things. So so the disk of convergence. So the disk of convergence for uh, log x, uh, so this is equal to um, uh, 1, 1 minus here. So this is the set of x and cp with uh, p absolute value less than 1. Okay. And then um, uh, then we have uh, the disk of convergence of convergence for the exponential so this is d1 rp and then my, well, we'll do a minus for this less than or equal to so this is the set of x and cp where uh, x so this p should be on the outside x is less than rp okay rp here this number will appear often so uh, so this is um, uh, p uh, 1 over p minus 1 Right, so this is this number here. So, uh, all right. Um, 
Okay, so so the proof idea here is just like a direct application of of that radius uh, of convergence. So 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 what we'll do is we compute this. Uh, so for it, we, we we just use this formula, right? So this is um, uh, here. And then we could just do this at special powers. So this is for the logarithm. So 1 over p to the r um, here. 1 over p to the r. Uh, and so then this thing, if you just work out what that is, this is 1. Okay? So this tells us that the series diverges for things bigger than that. Okay? Uh, then the other thing is that for... So then, then the, other, the other thing that you need to do... Uh, for the exponential is that you need to figure out how big the these uh, the piatic orders of this thing are growing Okay, and you can look that up and and, uh, and it turns out that that You have we have something like this. So this is n minus Sn over P minus 1 where Sn Is the sum of the digits of the base P digits of n. Okay, so that's that's a thing. Um, and then this, if you if you work out what this does, okay, so then this gives you um, that uh, R will be this uh, uh, P to the minus one over P minus one. Okay, so that's 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 where this thing is coming from. All right. All right, so um, so some things to think about here. Um, so, uh, so let me try and draw this for, for 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 us. Okay, so like, let's draw the picture here. Uh, let's draw it like this. Okay, so uh, so here, let's see. Do we want colors? Okay, so there's gonna be. Uh, let's let's draw like okay. So there's kind of two drawings that we can draw. Like there's the Berkovich drawing, and then there's there's so maybe we'll do one more drawing over here where there's there's kind of a Berkovich type drawing. So here's the point zero. Here's the point one, and then uh, from here, uh, this will fork. So like I'm trying to draw all the classical points here. Okay, and then. Uh, there's like this point where that corresponds to the disk of radius RP. So this is maybe I should write disk uh, of around one of radius RP. And then uh, here. Right, so this could have the disk of around zero of radius RP. And then they'll eventually meet up at a point uh, in the Berkovich space corresponding to the place where they're they're both uh, in inside of it, so I guess the closed disk, right? So I guess just above that thing. Okay, so then there's like classical points here and classical points here. Uh, okay, so that's that's kind of the Berkovich drawing. Um, let me just draw an, another drawing uh, where. Um, uh, okay, so here let's here's the point zero, here's the point zero, here's the point one. Um, okay, and then where does the log converge? So this is, um, uh, sorry, this is kind of drawn pretty far away, so maybe I can draw one over here. Actually, that's going to be better. Okay, we'll draw one over here. And so this is the disk of convergence of, of the logarithm. Um, all right, and then uh, in a slightly smaller uh, domain... Here, so we'll have uh, here. This is like uh, this is uh, radius R P D one R P minus. Okay, and then we have this region here. So this is D zero R P minus. Okay, and then here uh, on on this region, um, 
the two functions are invertible to each other. So, uh, so here we have um, uh, the there's this exponential. We have this exponential, and the, then we have the the p-adic logarithm. Um, and uh, so we, I guess we could write this x c c, c p. This is x log of c p. Okay, so we have this exponential and logarithm uh, here. So this this red part here. So this is the domain of convergence. Uh, for the the logarithm log CP okay so notice that it's bigger right and um, and what will happen is that uh, this thing so what will happen is that this thing gets mapped to some other region right so let me try and draw it like a oval or something so this is the image log of uh, of O C P cross. Okay. Uh, another thing to notice is that this thing, uh, so the disc of, so this disc here, disc of radius one one minus. So this is just uh, uh, of O C P cross. Okay. So that's what's going on there. Um, all right. And so, so what will happen is that you could have some in, in the image of the logarithm. Right, which is the red stuff. You could have something funny going on, and so what we'll what we're gonna try and do in a in a bit is that we're gonna try and fi figure out what some like so like what's so what it, what what disk so one question we can ask is so what disk what is the smallest disk. disk containing the image of the p-adic logarithm. Okay, so, um, so, uh, so this is one thing that, that we'll try and answer. Um, so let me just say that, uh, uh, so this is, this is on CP, so like how does this thing behave with respect to particular fields. So, um, yeah, that's a good question. So for, for particular fields, so, um, uh, so the behavior, uh, so there's a kind of an interesting ba behavior of the p-adic logarithm with respect to fields and ramifications. So let's say like k over qp is a finite extension. Right, um, so let's do this, and then uh, so the one of the ideas is that uh, the more uh, so let's say the p-adic logarithm on OK, uh, uh, let's say knows about uh, the ramification. Of k, okay. Um, what do I mean by that? Well, uh, so note that uh, so so for example, we can ask um, so so one question we can ask is question is um, uh, what is uh, so how big is uh, log of ok cross. If I take, let's say, the p-adic logarithm, so let's use the same notation. So the cp logarithm, okay? How big is, is this region? Um, well, uh, so, so note, so make an observation. Uh, suppose that you, ha so let's, let's suppose, well, let's just look at one particular value. So log of, let's say, 1 plus p. Okay, and then we'll take this one plus p, and then we'll we'll take a a, a pth root of it. So we have pth roots here, 
then uh, this thing, this is 1 over p to the n um, uh, log of 1 plus p. Using the rules for 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 exponentials, and so the the this this makes a this makes um, a p th p power roots uh, roots have large uh, p-adic logarithms. Okay. So that's the that's kind of one of the ideas that that uh, that, that we can show. And so um, now let me give kind of a um, that's something that we can do. Uh, and so yeah, I didn't really know much about the piadic logarithm before um, doing some of this IUT stuff. Um, uh, you know, Emmanuel Lepage explained a lot of these things to me. 